and welcome to Beautiful Journey. If you like declutter videos, you're in the right place because today we're decluttering my bronzers and highlighters and I am getting rid of half of my collection of these. I'm going to break it down into powders and creams, show you swatches and tell you what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of and why. Before I flip this camera around so you can see everything from the top down, I would really appreciate it if you take a second and squash that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, turn your notifications on and set them to all so you won't miss any time I upload. If you're new here because you love declutters and this came up in a search for you, welcome. My name is Tina and I hope that you'll stick around. Now let's declutter. Let's start with the powder bronzers. Some of these I know I will be getting rid of because they're just way too warm for me. This Giavi Sun Glow Shimmer Bronzer is really deep and it's really pretty, has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but my skin tone is just too fair for that. So I will be getting rid of this one. This might have been, I believe this was a Timu purchase. And my goal here is to keep only the ones that I love, that I use, and that will fit in the space that I have for them, which is these two acrylic drawers. So let's see if we can make that happen. This Zoeva bronzer, is actually getting old and I'm not sure it kind of has these speckles and it. it's really pretty and it is a good color for me also a little bit shimmery so I may oh hey look at that you could just clean that right up it looks so much better wow who knew Look how much better that looks. Doesn't look like an old crusty bronzer after all. So this one I'm not really sure of. I haven't used it very much. And so it may be one of them that I put in the maybe bin. Let me explain about my maybe bin. I allow myself up to five. I don't have that many bronzers, so I may just do three on the bronzers that I put in my maybe bin. And then I use them over the next two months or so. And when I do my next declutter, I will update on what I decided about the products in the maybe bin. So let's put the Zoeva in the maybe bin. This LA Colors bronzer is, you know, considering LA Colors is so inexpensive. It has the product, it has a mirror, and it also came with a puff, which you can see I have never used. Um, I don't remember. I think this color, yeah, this color is also a little warm for me. And so I'm going to probably get rid of this one. I did like the formula of the bronzer. It's just not the right color. This is color Beach Babe. So if they have something a little cooler, I would actually consider picking that up. This Take Home the Bronze from the Balm is really old. This came in one of my very first Ipsies. It's actually a really pretty color, but it, I mean, you can tell if you look at it, it's kind of bumpy and, and dry. And I really think I'm going to declutter that. This Tarte Amazonian Clay Park Avenue Princess Bronzer is a little deep, but I actually really like it when it goes on. It's actually, it's not, it looks deep in the pan, but it's not, it's a really pretty color. I'm going to keep that one. Wander Beauty, again, this was an Ipsy and I've actually almost got that one gone. I think as old as it is, and as dry and dusty and as much of it I've, as I've used, I am going to declare this one to be done. The Bobbi Brown in medium bronzing powder. Um, I rarely use this, but it's a really nice cool tone shade. And I think it's just one of those things that I forget that I have it because there's so much. But if you look at that swatch, it is a little bit of a pinkish undertone and I really like that in the bronzer. So I am definitely keeping this and it won't be buried. So I really want to use that more. All right, we're going to clean off some of these, make room for more. Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer. Love, love, love this. It is similar to that Bobbi Brown. This is the shade Sunrise L1. In fact, let's swatch those next to each other. One, two. I used a different finger. I mean, they're really kind of similar. The Heat Wave Bronzer has a tiny bit of shimmer to it. 
and it might be just a, this one might be just a tad pinker but I think when you blended those out on your skin I don't know if you tell the difference so if you like the bobby brown you might like the flower but I'm keeping this for sure because I absolutely love it I have this elf perpetually tan and I think it's too orange for me yeah it's it's too warm and so I'm going to pass that along to somebody with a little bit different skin tone than I have. We have this one from Siate London. I don't remember. This is their bamboo bronzer in Palm Island. And I honestly cannot remember where I got this from. I think it was in friend mail. And it's kind of a lighter, but more of a peachy bronzer. And I don't know. I don't remember how this one looks on my skin. I think it's too warm. But I also only have one so far in my maybe bin. So I think I'm going to toss that one over there so that I can try it and see. The Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. The lid broke. It, oh, they always do. I don't like these plastic things. But this is in 03 Chocolate Sunday, And you'd think that if it's 03, it would be too dark for me. But it's not. It's just this really pretty light... You can kind of go ham on it and not overdo it, but it's a great cool tone color and I really like it. So I'm actually not going to declutter this one, but my daughter has said that this is when she needs a bronzer, this is the one she steals. So I'm probably going to give it to her, but I will replace it. The Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Sunset Strip Tees. I love this. I have quite a divot in it. And I'm almost getting close to hitting pan, I think, because I can see the. this is just like a perfect warmer bronze color for me. It has just a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but no glitter, and really like this color. Probably these three are probably my most used powder bronzers. But I also really like this Moira bronzer. It's newer, so it hasn't gotten as much use as the others. And it has this cute palm tree and the ocean scene. So you have a lighter color. Let's see, we need to make some room here. Make sure my arm is dry. Okay, so you have a lighter color. And then you have a deeper, warmer color. But generally what I do is I swirl them together to get kind of an in-between color. And this one is a little bit warmer, but there's enough of a pink undertone that it doesn't pull orange on me. Really like this and it's so smooth. And then I have this Laura Geller baked hydrating bronzer in Siesta Medium. This was also a gift in friend mail and I've used quite a bit of it. I also really like this. It's also very smooth and a good light bronze color for me. It is a true bronze just like this one is. In fact, it's very similar to the Moira color. So I am also keeping that one. I started out with 14 powder bronzers. I am going to declutter five of them and two are in my maybe bin. So I am for sure keeping seven. So just like that, I've cut my bronzer stash in half. Of course, there's two that are in the maybe bin and so they could be coming back in but I will let you know that in a future video. And so let's see if these powder bronzers will fit in the space I have. For them. And the answer is no, but mostly because they're just weirdly shaped. All right, we're gonna pull out the cream and liquid bronzers now. And these will be harder because I don't have as many and I kind of like the ones I have. So, this is both contour and bronzer. Contour tends to be a cooler tone. It has a little bit of a grayish tone to it because you want that to create a shadow. So for example, this is a contour shade for me. And I love this. This is the Focalure Face Contour. Came in a duo with a highlighter. I'll show you it later. This is number nine Tortilla. And it is a beautiful contour shade for me. Definitely keeping that. I also have this 
Hard Candy Highlight and Contour Face Duo Stick. And you can see that the contour side is completely gone. I'll show you what the color was. A little bit warmer than the Focalure one, but I really liked it. And so obviously I used it all up. And then there's a highlight on the other side. We're going to hang on to that and also talk about that during the highlighter declutter. I don't think that I will replace this. I don't know that you can replace it um, for one thing, but I have other cream contours that I like better. So I'm not going to. This is a, I believe this was from Timu. And oh, well, there you go. So you get what you pay for, I guess. But it is too warm for me. And I have not used it. I'm going to declutter this. Back in contour colors, that was actually a bronzer color. This e.l.f. putty bronzer in, let's see if I can read the shade name. Feeling Shady is a very emollient cream, and but it dries down to a powder. It doesn't stay that way. And it is also a great, great contour shade for me. So I'm keeping that. Oh, wait, and then I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour, and I really like this. This is my most recent purchase, and it is a good, cool-toned contour that I just really like. So I am also keeping that one. So those are, uh, you can see how orange this one is. This was the Timu stick, and this actually was the Hard Candy, and I thought it was cooler than that, but stacked up against these other ones, it is actually not that cool after all. So these three are staying. And now onto the putty bronzers. I have the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in light. So many people tried this and love it, loved it, and so I finally got my hands on it. I also love it. It's just so, so creamy, and that's a ton. <laughs> Don't need that much but it is a really pretty bronzer color and it looks really warm, but when I actually use the right amount on my skin and don't go overboard like that, it looks really pretty. So that's staying. This is the Essence Baby Got Bronze and the color is Cinnamon Spice. And this is also a really pretty bronzer shade. It's a little bit, might be a little bit deep if you go ham like I just did, but when you blend it out, it looks really pretty. Keeping that. This e.l.f. putty bronzer is in Honey Drip. It's a little bit warmer. Sometimes, I don't know if you can tell on this one, the top of these can get a little dried out looking. If you just kind of mix it a little bit with your finger, it gets emollient again. And so let's see. And so that one you can see is a little bit in between. Huh, got these little bits. I don't think I like that. So I don't know, this one may be getting old. It's kind of funky on top, but it's a really pretty color. So if it is old when I use it next, if it feels like it's not performing well, I may replace it. Um, but it's, it is one that I would replace because I do really like it and I like the color. This color pop, Get Sandy Super Shock Bronzer, I think is too dried out. Yeah, it's it's more like Play-Doh <laughs> than a putty feeling. I, I just don't know that I'm gonna be able to get my, anything on with it. If you can, it's really, really stiff and dried out. So, yep, this one is going to go. That's my, that's my beef with the Super Shock stuff from ColourPop. It just dries out too fast. And I know you're supposed to pay attention to expiration dates and that kind of stuff on your, especially cream products, but I just think that they should last longer than that. So of my cream products, I had nine. I'm decluttering three and keeping six. And nothing's going in the maybe bin. All right, this is my highlighter bin. Give me a second and I will sort it by cream and powders and be right back. Wow, okay, I have a lot of highlighters. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize I had this many highlighters. This is going to be harder. Some of these are old. Some of these I just don't use. And so, and I really like highlighters. So let's, let's just dive in. All right. This Wander Beauty came with, I believe the other Wander. It came as a highlight contour duo in an Ipsy and it is a pretty highlighter. 
or what I was going to say, maybe it's getting old, but I don't know, you guys, it's still really pretty. So let's, let's just put that over there in, in the keep for now. And maybe I've got other stuff that looks just like it. I'm going to try to pull all of the similarly colored. So let me reach for all the golds first. This is from Seen from Space, Space Case Cosmetics 1A. And this is one that I really don't use. It's kind of dry. And it's a little bit similar to that Wander Beauty one, but it's a little more gold. This has a little bit of a pink gold to it. Yeah, this one I think I'm going to put in the potentially decluttered side because I'm not sure that I really like that. I have a Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighter in Privilege. And this looks similar to both of these, but again, a little bit more a little bit more of a rose gold, maybe. I don't know, it felt a little dry. I wonder if it's gotten old also. This was also a friend mail, possibly three years or more older. I don't, I don't know. So let's put that with the wander as a, think about this. It's not in the maybe bin. It's, it's, I'm going to think about it and let you know. I have an elf baked highlighter in blush gems. I don't know if you can get these anymore and it does feel old it feels i mean baked highlighters are dry anyway it feels really dry and it doesn't really want to transfer very well so i am going to declutter this one i know that i love this essence pure nude highlighter it's not going anywhere i mean just look at how smooth that is compared to these others that i've been putting on so definitely a keep um this elf white gold also love this just super pretty. It's a little bit more glittery if you don't like that. It does ha does seem to kind of have a little bit of glitter versus the one next to it, which was the pure nude that is just kind of a glow, but I'm still keeping it. All right, I just got a phone call and so I had that I needed to take. And so if this has changed a little bit, I apologize for the change in the angle but I'm filming with my phone and sometimes that happens. Okay, so we're still talking about the gold toned ones. I have the Revolution Sun Kiss in Golden Kiss. This was so pretty, had this starburst pattern and I dropped it. And fortunately it didn't open and spill everywhere, but it did shatter, so I repressed it. And I do enjoy this highlighter, or at least I did before I had to repress it. I don't know if that changed the texture of it or not. Let me look at that with this blonder. Nope, different colors. Hmm. I'm just trying to see if I have one that does the same thing that I don't need them both. They're kind of different, aren't they? Let me look at this Flower Beauty. I was going to get into the face palace later. That one shattered too, didn't it? It's kind of a mess. Yeah, I think I like the flower better. I am actually going to declutter this, mainly because it is a mess, but also because I have others. So that one's going to go. Look at me making decisions and everything. It's also probably one of the first highlighters that I bought. So it's easily three years old, maybe more. Um, and then I have these little Becca minis that I got at TJ Maxx. And one of them is Champagne Pop and it's Oh, and it's also shattered. This has shattered several times. So I'm just going to get rid of it because it's pretty, but it is not worth the mess. I'm sorry. Now I got to clean up my desk. All right, I'm going to go now to the pinker shades. And I have these two Wet n Wilds. One is the Mega Glow, the OG 2016 to 2018 YouTube. Everybody used Blossom Glow. And... I was influenced and I bought it and I still love it because it is still just so pretty. So I really don't want to get rid of that one. But I also have this Fantasy Maker highlighter in Halo Effect and I've never actually com compared them. But honestly, I think it's the same thing. So this one is newer. I think I'm going to keep this one and see if my daughter or somebody wants this one. It's still perfectly good. It may be a little old, a little, you know, a little messy, but I think they're the exact same thing. Don't you? I mean, look at that. They look like the exact same thing. All right, so this one's going. 
and this one gets to stay. Now I want to compare the other pink ones that I have to this. That's more of a white. So this Becca is rose quartz and it's so smooth. It's a little more pink than this one is, so I am going to keep it. I have the Shana B Miami in Guava Glow. This was in an Ipsy. It is also pink, but it's also getting old and it's a little bit dry. This one honestly is more of a blush topper than a highlighter. I never use it. I'm going to declutter it. Kate, the Kate Voss Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter in Moonlight, also an Ipsy, also broken and feeling a little dry and looking very much like the Blossom Glow and oh, what was that one called? Hey, uh, Halo Effect? Yeah. But a little more glittery. I don't know. I'm this is this is broken. I don't use it. I'm going to get rid of it. Look at me. Okay, let me get a clean finger here. This Hendayan Diamond Blush is a Timu product. And at first I wasn't sure I liked it. I thought it was just kind of straight glitter. But as I've gotten through the overspray on the top a little bit, it is really pretty. It's a little more icy pink than these down here and a little bit of glitter, but I don't mind because it's just so pretty. Sometimes you just want a beam and this one will take you there. So that one's gonna stick. These are these these two right here are my maybes, and depending on what I keep, we'll decide whether I, I'm gonna keep them or not. This Halo highlighter is from AOA Studio in Allure. It is a baked formula, and I actually really like it. It's just kind of a pretty powder, and you can see it doesn't have as much glitter kind of as this one does, but I like it. I'm gonna keep it. It's more on the white, and we're kind of getting into those now. So I have a Believe Beauty highlighter. You can see I got it on clearance at Dollar General. This is called Pop of Pink, but honestly, I don't really see pink in it. Well, maybe I do. It's kind of a duochrome. And it's like white with a pink shift. Can is, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Can you see the pink shift in it? I'll have to look at the footage and see if I can. Honestly, this is a bit more than I really want in a highlighter. I think I'm going to declutter this. Essence Pure Nude Be My Space Light. I think this is very similar to that Believe Beauty. You can kind of see the pink shift in it. And you can maybe see it on my finger better. So let's put that next to it. Yeah, they're... I don't know if I'm even in the shot or not. I don't know if my... There we go. Now I can see. If I want that kind of a highlighter, I'll use this one over the Believe. So I'm going to keep this for now, but I'm also going to keep it in my mind to see if I use it because if I don't, then I need to get rid of it. The Becca, this other Becca mini is Vanilla Quartz. And I, you can see that this one also broke. This is more of a gold. I'm just going to put it along here. It's really dry. I think it's really old and I'm going to get rid of it. And then this Airspun Loose Face Highlighter from Cody is in Snow Much Ice. My, this was my daughter's. She decided she didn't want it. So I said, yeah, I'll try it. And I have tried it and I don't like it. It is, first of all, it's a mess. It doesn't take very much and it's pretty much straight up glitter. So it's, you know, beaming, see it from space kind of highlight, but that's just not the makeup wearer that I am anymore. I, I like to have a glow, but I don't want to have glitter. So I'm going to declutter that as well. So now looking at what I'm keeping, which really isn't very much, I am, I am going to keep this Wander and the Nabla. I am going to keep both of these. I started out with 19 powder highlights and I'm decluttering 10 of them. So I think because of that I can keep both of those and then see if I use them now that I have a smaller collection of things that I love and can see what I have. 
All right, so those are the powder highlighters that I'm keeping. Now let me go to the liquid and cream. So let me switch my bucket. Oh, these packages. All right, so here's the liquid and creams, and let's just start in. Okay, this one is an AOA Studio. It's their Velour Highlighter, and it's in Crazy. It is a really pretty cream highlight, but the package is busted, and it and, and a lot of times when these are broken, you can get a, you can put them on, and they'll at least stay there. This one does not. It just falls right off. Things get you can see it's been gouged because stuff falls in it. I don't know. Maybe Ben, what do you think? It's really pretty, but it is. I just don't know if it's worth the hassle. Because I have other pink tinted highlighters. Here's one from Koki, the Soft Glow Highlighter in Rosie. I think I got this one in the giveaway from Jen Phelps when I won her 100,000 subscriber. And that is just a beautiful rose gold highlight. I might actually use that for a blush, but I'm keeping that because it is gorgeous. I have the Wet n Wild Cushion Highlighter in Who's That Pearl? Oh, it's a, it's a twist off, it doesn't open. It has a little sponge and then the flip top and then it's in the cushion here. And it's just really smooth and I do really like it. So I think I'm gonna keep that. I usually don't use the little sponge. I do usually dab my fingers in it to use it. The e.l.f. Jelly Much Highlighter in Bubbly. I don't like these jelly products, you guys. I don't know. They just, they just kind of, I don't know. They bug me. And I feel like they lift my foundation and I think I'm going to declutter this. I never, ever use it. So it's going to go. This is the duo to the contour focal lure I showed you, and this one is in Groovy, and I absolutely love this. It is so smooth and creamy and looks so pretty on the skin, so definitely keeping that one. I have the True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator. I think this was supposed to be a dupe for a Charlotte Tilbury product. Um, this is really, to me, more of a blush. So I probably should put it, if I put it in with my blushes, I actually might wear it or a blush topper anyway. I don't know. This is, I, I've never, I don't know that I've ever worn this. And this, hmm, this might get the maybe bin, guys, because I don't know. I don't know if that's something I would use or not. Oh, let's see, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Halo Liquid Highlighter. And this one is in Halo Goodbye. This has a doe foot and... It's a liquid and it's actually really pretty. But again, it's one of those things where I've had so much in that bin that I couldn't see what I had. And so I'm going to keep this because now that I know how pretty it is, I want to use it. The Sephora Stick Effect Holographic, the Holographic Effect Stick. This is in the Magical Glow. And this one is probably going to get decluttered because it's a bit it is kind of holographic and I don't know I don't want that much shift on my cheeks it might be really pretty on the eyes but this is another one that I'm not sure that I've ever used so I think I will declutter it uh, the ColourPop Super Shock in Flexitarian. I heard Mandy Lee talk about this so much over and over and over that I just had to have it. And I'm here to tell you that she is absolutely right. This is gorgeous. Love it so much. And I am keeping it. And it is not yet dried out. So, And then I've got three of these wand type liquids. The Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter in Opal. And they have these sponge tips that I just can't stand. It's a mess. This one actually will open and close, but don't try to do it with your fingers because it's a mess. So you twist it this way to open and then you squeeze it and it comes up through the sponge and then you can dab it on like that. There's no need for these to have a sponge tip because you are not going to blend it with that and it just gets inside the cap 
gets all over the outside of it. So when you try to close it, now you've got it all over your fingers and it's just a mess. But the highlighter itself is really pretty. So I'll keep that one. This is from Moira and it's the Aqua Liquid Highlighter in Bubbly Champagne. This one has the squeezy tip. It doesn't have that stupid sponge on there. You just put a little on your finger, on your, on your palette, whatever, on the back of your hand, and then dab it in. And it's really pretty too. So I'm keeping that. The NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Sunbeam also doesn't have a sponge tip. This one has that flat side. I actually prefer the squeezy, squeezy one better, but this one's okay. And this is a little bit more of a pink toned liquid. So I'm going to keep that one too. So I have kind of a gold, more of a like white, icy, and then a little bit of a pink tone. And so all of them can stay. All right. So I started out with 12 cream highlighters. I have two that I'm going to put in my maybe bin and I am decluttering two. So I have eight that I'm keeping. And if you remember what this bin looked like before, and this is the after for my highlighters. And I'm pretty excited because now I can see what I have. I am not quite done though. I am going to do my face palettes now. And I honestly didn't realize that I had so many. Some of these are just highlighter, some have blush, some have bronzer, but I'm going to go through all of these now. This is my Flower Beauty Trio, and I absolutely love it. As you can see, the gold one did shatter, but I'm not getting rid of this because I love these. There's the lighter color, the one with a little bit of pink in it, and look how sparkly I am, Woo! and then the gold. And I don't use the gold very often, as you can see, based on how much I've used the others but I am keeping this. Maybe someday I will think about replacing it because it is kind of a mess. I have this Rimmel highlighting trio. It's a little bit like the Flower Beauty one. There's a pink. Oh, these are, oh, these are really dry. I think this has gotten old. I'm going to declutter this. I have a ColourPop face palette. This is just a flush cheek palette. And there is a highlighter, a bronzer, and two blushes. I really haven't used this much. The highlighter is very sparkly and it does have glitter, which I'm not totally in love with. The bronzer is a little bit warm. And then we have two blush colors that are actually very light. Um, I, I don't know that I like this. I think I'm going to declutter it. And it doesn't close. Weird. I have an e.l.f. face palette. This is a blush and highlighter. It's called Fiji Matte. And I got this early, early in my makeup journey when I started watching YouTube makeup videos back in 2018. And as I suspected, because I haven't used this in a while, it has gotten super dry and powdery. So unfortunately, it has some memories because it's one of the first new updated products I bought, but I'm going to declutter it. I realize that there are expiration dates on products. I tend to go more, especially for powder products, how it performs. And I can, I can tell if it's really dry and powdery that it's time to get rid of it. This Revolution Light Contour Palette has a contour and highlight in it. I think even though it says light, it seems pretty deep for me. So there is the contour shade and there is the highlighter. And honestly, both of those are darker than I probably want to wear. Although the highlighter is really pretty. It's still in really good shape, so I am going to see if I can find somebody who has deeper skin than I do and can use that because it's really pretty. But I am going to declutter it. I have another Rimmel face palette. This one has a highlighter, a contour, and a blush. And I did buy this one, and I probably bought this in 2018. But we'll see how it feels. 
So the highlighter is more like a powder and it does have a glow. That's actually really pretty. And then the bronzer. It's hard to tell because I think my skin was a little bit dry right there. I mean, a little bit wet. And the blush. Hmm. Seems a little patchy to me. I'm going to put this in the maybe bin and use it and just see if it actually is patchy or if it's just because my arm has been wiped so many times with a makeup wipe <laughs> that, that it's kind of kind of gunky. I might need to actually go like put some oil cleanser or something on my arm and and actually wash it. But for now, we'll just put that in the maybe bin. My Belgian waffle from BH Cosmetics. This isn't going anywhere. I love this. This cinnamon is a little bit warm for me, but I can make it work, especially if I mix it a little bit. Um, the buttermilk is just a powder, and then you've got the highlighters. This one is way too deep for me. I never use this, but these two are really pretty. I don't know why they're both in here, because honestly, they're almost identical, <laughs> but that's okay. I ha and I even used this on my eyes yesterday. I used this as an eyeshadow palette, and it was really pretty. So keeping that for sure. These are the rest of the face palettes I have. Let's just bring them out here. I think this one is all highlight. Yes. These are not colors I will ever use. I'm going to declutter this. This is the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean face palette. And it says short, the mirror here says chart a course for the stars. This is really, really pretty. There are three highlights and three blushes. This is actually a blush topper. And I really like this. I also really like to use this on my eyes. So let me just go ahead and give you the swatch there. But they're just really smooth and pretty. And yeah, so I'm keeping this one. So this Profusion Highlight Contour Palette, um, I don't know that I'm going to get rid of it, but I also don't know that I'm going to use it on my face any longer because this actually is the first highlight contour palette I bought when I started watching YouTube makeup videos. Got it at Walmart for, I don't know, $5, something like that, and used it a lot. There's a powder, a banana powder, a highlight, and then three kind of contour bronzer bronzer colors. You can see that the color, you might be able to see, they're kind of getting bumpy, and that kind of happens when they get old. But for nostalgia purposes, I think I'm just going to put this in a drawer and keep it for now because but I'm not going to use it. So technically it's decluttered because it's not going to be part of my collection. And then I have this Smashbox Cali Contour that I got in friend mail and it is the shape bronze glow. I have never used this because I forgot I have it. So there is a powder, a contour color, a bronze color, a couple of highlights and a blush. So I'm going to keep this in my collection for now, but if it continues to not be used, then I'll probably go ahead and get rid of it. I am just not a face palette kind of person. I forget that I have them, mainly because I have so many. So I think if I have fewer, then maybe I'll remember to use them. So I start, let me write, I'm writing down my totals over here. Hang on. All right. So I started with 11 face palettes. I'm decluttering six of them. I have one in my maybe bin, which leaves me four face palettes that I'm keeping. And I think that's pretty good. Considering I almost never use them, I think if I only have four, I might remember to use them. The one that's just highlighter, I'm gonna put in my highlighter bin. So maybe I did keep it to, I did keep it to five, and I will use these over the next couple of months and decide what I'm gonna keep. Let's talk about the maybes from previous videos, shall we? Going all the way back to my eyeshadow, I had these in my maybe bin. I have not used, I think I did that in February, and I have not used this palette from Ciate. So it is going to go. It is getting decluttered. The Nubian by Juvia's Place, I have used, and I actually have already put it back in my collection because I've used it. It gets to stay. The Tati palette, I have used once or twice. Yeah, I should have used it more than that, but I didn't. And Honestly, I still can't decide what to do with it because when I use it, I like it, but I don't use it. 
So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep it or should it go? Because I can't decide. I think the reason I want to hang on to it is for sentimental reasons. It is the first expensive palette that I ever bought and that I paid full price for. And so for that reason, I feel like I should keep it. But I also know that you shouldn't keep something just because you spent money on it. That's called a sunk cost. And you can't consider sunk costs when making decisions about the future. So I don't know. Maybe if I leave it out on my desk, I'll see it. I'll use it. And but I also if I'm going to get rid of it and maybe sell it on Poshmark or Macari or something like that, I, I want to do it before it gets so old that it can't be used anymore. So I don't know. I can't decide. And this velvet matte palette from Profusion, this is one that I just always left sitting out because it is a perfect matte palette if you need a transition shade or, you know, a, a brow bone shade or something like that. You can see Sugar and Darlin were my, this was, this was the ivory one. This was the pink one. I used them all the time. And Heavenly was like, Heavenly is my perfect transition shade, but there's also a couple of cool ones in there. You've got warm and I think I'm just going to keep this. Um, the shades still are working. I bought this, I think at the same time that I bought this. So, you know, maybe I shouldn't be using it, but they still look good and they still feel good when I use them. So I don't know. I think I can, I can go either way. I can say that I've gotten my use out of this and it's time to let it go. Or I can say, you know, it's really still kind of working and it has some interesting shades in there and I'm going to keep it. And I don't know which way to go with it. If I don't keep it, I will probably take it to the theater and donate it to the theater because these are colors that are really good for stage makeup. So I don't know. Tati and Velvet Matte are going to stay in my palette holder on my desk for now. Okay, let's look at these. I had some blushes. Hey, there's my... I was looking for that. I had no idea what happened to it. All right, so I had some blushes. And... This one I did use, and I actually really liked it. It is very light, but when I wanted that, it was really pretty. So I am keeping this one. These two Makeup Geek blushes, there's a pinker one, and then kind of a little bit of a peachy one. They have a little bit of a shimmer, and I really do like the way these look on my skin. So I'm keeping that. And then I have this Lumi blush that is glowy. And... I used that recently. I don't remember what I used it for, but it was so pretty. So I'm keeping all of those. This, however, cream blush is just dried out and I'm going to let that one go. And then the last things that were in my maybe bin were these two smoothing primers. And I was going to test them and see which one I liked better. And I, I can't tell you which one I like better because I like them both. But if I had to pick, I would pick the Hard Candy. I think it's more smoothing and creamier than the Revolution. So, and I'm going to keep the Hard Candy and let go of the Revolution. So, I've made decisions on everything that's in my Maybe basket so far. And now these products will go into the Maybe bin for me to use over the next month or so and make decisions on if they stay or go. These are really, this one is really just a color, so it shouldn't take me long to make that decision. This one is, is it old? Does it perform? Same thing with this one. And then these, this one, is it worth keeping with the packaging the way it is? And then this one, just use it because I never have. <laughs> this basket then is all of the products that are leaving my collection. I think that was a tremendous declutter. Like so let's wrap this up. How many products did I start with? How many am I getting rid of? And what am I left with? So for bronzers, I started with 21 bronzers. That was 13 powders and nine creams. I got my handy dandy little notebook here. I put two in the maybe bin. I am decluttering five powders and three creams, which means I'm keeping six powders and six creams for a total of 12. Started with 21 for the whole category and I'm ending with 12. For highlighters, I started with 19 powder highlighters and 12 cream or liquid highlighters. 
I have two that I put in the maybe bin. I'm decluttering 10 powders and two liquids, leaving nine powders and eight liquid or cream highlighters. So I started with a total of 31 highlighters and I'm ending with 17. For face palettes, I started with 11. I put one in the maybe bin and I actually did my makeup after I did the declutter before I filmed the intro and this outro. And I used that palette that I put in the maybe bin and I think I really like it. I used it on my cheeks and I also used the bronzer as a transition in my eye look and I really like it. So I think it's already coming out of the maybe bin. I'm decluttering five of those face palettes. So I'm keeping a total of six. All told in these categories of highlighters and bronzers, I started with 63 products. That's insane. But I'm only keeping 35. So I am decluttering almost half of my bronzer and highlight stash. And I feel really good about that because now what I have, I know works for me. I know the colors are good. I know that I like it. It's not old. So I can reach in those bins and pull out anything in there and use it and know that I'm going to like it. And that's probably the biggest benefit to all of these declutters I've done. Again, I'll have that whole playlist linked for you down below, is just knowing that whatever I reach for is going to work for me. And I can't wait to get to the rest of my collection. My next declutter, I believe, is going to be my mascaras and my eyeliners. Then I have shadow sticks, pot shadows, and single shadows that I'm going to do together and probably put eyeshadow primers in with that one. And then lip products. That'll be kind of a big one. And then I'll probably do a skincare one too after that. But if you've noticed the dates on these, I think I started my first one back in February. And so they happen probably once every other month. But this is what's working for me, and I'll get there. Slow and steady wins the race. So as far as my bronzer collection fitting in the two drawers that I have assigned for it, did I succeed? Sort of. These are my creams. They fit. These are my powders. This one doesn't fit, but it's just so big. And if you remember, I said I was giving this one to my daughter, so they do fit but I plan to replace this one and then it won't. And so I might have to figure something else out, but for now I'm pretty excited that my two drawers contain my bronzer collection. And my little bin here that was so overflowing I couldn't see what was in it is now very organized. I have all of my powders stacked over here, my creams are here and I can see everything. And that feels great. I'm gonna put that declutter playlist over there so you can find it really easy. I hope that you have a beautiful, blessed day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.